Hey everybody, what's going on? Now today, this is a little bit of a different video. Uh, okay, so today um, I'm showing you how to first set up MCP in Minecraft Forge for 1.6.1. And um, also I'm going to be showing you how to transfer or how to upgrade your a current mod you have from 1.5.2. Uh, or, or whatever up to 1.6.1 1 uh, and show you a few of the, of the things that you need to change for uh, it to work. So what we're going to start with is we're going to go to files.minecraftforge.net and you're going to want to download um, the source for the latest build which right now which at the recording the time of the of this recording is 8.9.0.771 so you want to download that and I'll, I'll download it again why not it's going to get to add fly yep i got that i got an ad blocker what are you gonna do <laughs> okay all right so that's going to start downloading. Now, the servers may be slow right now uh, because they've, been, they've said that they've had a lot of traffic. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people are uh, at the same time are downloading Minecraft Forge. Okay, so there we go. So we got it. So you want to extract it, and that's going to give you a folder called Forge right here. So I'm going to drag this to my desktop. We're going to set this up here. So this is pretty much before you had to download MCP as well as Forge, and then you had to integrate Forge into MCP and all this other stuff, but you don't need to do that anymore. Uh, so right, we just need to open this up here. Let's increase that window size a little bit. All right, so from here, we know we, we got a few files here, okay? We got, uh, we wanna run this install sh. If you're on uh, Windows, you wanna run install.cmd, and then I'm guessing that install.py is for, Linux, but I guess you could also use sh for that as well. So anyway, we're gonna open up terminal. We're gonna we got a cd to our directory. If you're on Windows, okay, we'll just type it in here. So where are we right now? Since it's not allowing me just to drag it in, okay. Cd to the desktop. And then CD into Forge. Okay, so after you're in your in your so on Windows, you can just you can just double click on the install.cmd, and it will go ahead and do all this stuff. Uh, but on Mac, we have to do it a little bit differently. Um, okay, so we're going to from here type sh space install dot sh. Now, what this is going to do, uh, it's going to install. Uh, Forge mod loader, so it's going to download MCP. Um, it's going to download a bunch, of, it's going to download all the files that you need and create everything. And it's going to set up the entire environment for you. So, um, I'm just going to speed this clip up a little bit and uh, while it's doing all this stuff, and then we'll come back again and uh, we will see uh, when we're finished here. So that we so we have finished finally uh, installing uh, Minecraft Forge as, as you can see uh, the whole process itself took about I would say ten to fifteen minutes for me uh, downloading all those files and everything it was about a uh, I'm, a, I'm on a seven megabyte megabit per second connection so uh, judge for yourself on uh, on Windows you can just press any key at this point and it will close the, the the command prompt on Mac just press command Q to get rid of it and uh, all right so now that we got this now we got we're basically set up to uh, create a mod and you know start developing our mod but what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna upgrade a current mod 
to Minecraft uh, 1.6.7. So I'm going to open up two finder windows, and I'm going to go in my development folder. Now I'm working on this mod called food, called Food Cultures. I've already updated it to 1.6.1, but I'm going uh, to I'm going to show you guys how to update it yourself. Okay, so basically, okay, so the way it worked in 1.5.2 was you had your MCP folder, and then you had Forge within that folder, and it, you know everything ran that way. But they've um, it's it's changed, of course, because you you only have to download Forge and you get an MCP folder. But within here, everything else is the exact same as it was before. Um, pretty much. There's a few changes. There's a few minor changes, but nothing too hard. Okay, so what we're going to start with is we're going to go into... I'm going to go into my source. So in your old mod, so this is my MCP folder. I got Forge right here. I'm going to go into the source, Minecraft. And then right here, you'll, I'll see... Um, I called my my package, my main package mods, uh, underscore shack rudin. And then within there, I have my block item tool and world generation and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm just going to copy this in the same spot here, Minecraft, uh, mods, underscore shack rudin. There we go. So it's in there. Now we're going to open up eclipse and we're going to get our environment open and see what we got to change. So I'm just gonna I'm opening up Eclipse here. I'm gonna find. Uh, we just it was just a Forge, wasn't it? Yes. So Forge. MCP. Eclipse, and load. Done. So Eclipse uh, is loading up the uh, the workbench and in the environment for us. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Full screen, there we go. Alright, so this is the same this is the same kind of deal here. We got some more files here and things are switched around a little bit. But uh mostly everything's the same. So uh here so we got all of our packages here just like before. And I'm gonna find all my packages right there. Uh world generation, there we go. So those are all my packages there. So we're gonna open up this one here. Now, there's a few changes we got to make in this file here. So I'm just going to, I'm, I'm cross-referencing with my, I got I got it open here in another uh, editor here. Okay, so we're going to go down to uh, this part right here. Uh, the, you should, if you're, if you're making a modding and you're doing, and you've done it and you've been taught properly, you should have at init public void load fml initialization event event that's what you should have okay uh now we're gonna be switching this up uh because um for texture reasons everything works right now except for textures textures are going to be the only thing that's not working so i'm going to run this um and we're gonna see this i'm, I'm gonna show you um that that the mod does the mod is going to work automatically out of the box nothing to switch nothing to change i'll generate a new world i'll go into creative and i'm also going to make it super flat so it's preparing our spawn area and as you can see, I got all these things here. These, this is the new missing textures. So if I bring in the pickaxe, this pickaxe here, it's actually not going to show it because that's tra it's transparent. It, it doesn't exist. It, it's not going to put the the missing texture image there. Uh, it's just going to have that instead. So there we go. There's that. So uh, fixing that, uh, we're going to just get a quit out of this. We don't need it anymore. Quit. All right. So to fix this. Uh, first thing, so basically, uh, with 1.6.1, this init no longer cuts it for um, for loading the textures and all the and all the other stuff that we need uh, to do for textures to work. So we're just gonna we're gonna change init to pre init, not pr not pro pre init. Uh, you're gonna have to import that function. So if you hover your mouse over pre pre init. You should get um, at pre init. Let's try that again. At pre init. 
should give us the option to import maybe this here as well. This has to be pre-initialization event. We can import that. Okay, we're just going to go up into our top, into this thing here. Uh, find this here, copy, paste, and we're going to change it to pre. Now that should be fixed. Yep, so it's working now. And now we're pretty much ready. I'm just going to change this as well to pre-init. Um, that's what I did over here anyway. Okay, so we've done that much. Now we're pretty much ready. Um, textures still aren't going to work at this point because we had to go into each individual item. And we got to paste this line right here. I'm just going to clean this up before I copy it over. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to go to my, let's go to my tools. I'll just do the sword. Why not? Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to open up this file. So this is, this was my, my, my current, uh, my 1.5.2 class file for this corundum sword. Now we need to add in a function into this um, for uh, for loading uh, for registering the icon. That's basically what we have to do. So that's this line here. Um, why is nothing's working today? <laughs> Import. There we go. Should clean that up. There we go. So you have to import the side only inside as well. I completely, completely I forgot about that. But yeah, you have to import those, um, and then you create this function public void register icons icon register. This name here, this can be whatever you want because basically we're creating a type. Uh, we're basically so we're not creating a type. So we're saying uh, to access the icon register. Within our function, I'm going to pass it to par1 icon register. You, this could be um, um, hippie if you wanted it to. You know, you could have it like that, and it would still work as long as as long as long hippie here matches hippie here. Okay, but I'm just going to change that back because I don't uh, – I'm just going to keep it like that. All right, so we got that. So now, so so then after, so within that function, you want to go this dot item icon is equal to par one icon register dot uh, register icon. Now remember par one par one icon register as long as that has to be the same as this. Uh, so then, so then you go dot re register icon, and then within um, parentheses and quotes. Uh, this is where um, I got a little bit confused at first uh, when I was first developing once. Now, this is the same thing as, uh, so if we go back over here for, for, for a second, you see this unset un unlocalized name. You probably know this already, but this here sets, uh, you know, the basically it's basically telling uh, what texture to look for. Uh, but for some reason, in 1.6.1, it's not working. Uh, we're not sure if it's just because of the version of of uh, of, mod, of Forge that we have that that or, or that's out right now. They may fix this, uh, but I but uh, some guys got it to work and um, they shared that information with me. So from here, I'm just gonna replace that. There we go. So from here, what we're gonna do? So Shakarudin is gonna be the name of of. Uh, I'll show. I'll tell you what that's about later. Uh, so here, so I'm going to call this Sword Corundum. And that's pretty much it. That's all you got to do to get that to work. Now, we're not quite done. We haven't imported our textures yet. And I want to wait for that uh, to do that because things are a little bit different this time. Um, so before, you had this folder called Mods. No longer do you have a folder called Mods. I'm just going to copy all, all, all the textures over. You have to have the folder called Assets instead of Mods. And, as, and then you want to have this folder that's with inside, uh, that, that's inside now has to be has to be lowercase for, or else for some reason it doesn't work. Um, so Assets, Shackrooted. Now, 
You may say, well, why is this a capital here, but not here? Here, it doesn't matter. You can have that, a, have that a capital here. It will still go in as a lowercase here. Um, so, you, so, you, so you go inside of there, and then it's going to, since this is an item, it's automatically going to, going to go to textures, items, and grab the sword right there. So now we should be able to load up uh, Minecraft, and we should have textures. It should say a bunch of stuff down here saying, oh, can't find all these textures. Yep. Now, one thing I will point out, um, when you first, you may, depending on, on, on how you've uh, coded your mod, uh, it may, it, in the console, if the textures weren't showing up, it may not even say anything because it's not even registering the item. Or it, it's registering the items, but it's not even having, it's not even trying to load, uh, to, to, to register the icons. So it's not even... So it's you know it's not even bothering to uh, to say anything about it. That was my big thing. It wasn't even saying anything, and I'm like, okay, well, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> so now we go under, bam, we got our sword. Texture is now working. Um, there you go. So that's that's that there. All right, uh, and that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you got any questions, post in the comments below or visit my website. Um, send me an email through the contact form there and I will get back to you and I will help anyone I can. I'll be posting these on the Minecraft form as well so people can see all this and doing it and actually have a visual on doing it. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. If you want, I'm going to be posting more videos like this uh, as time goes on. So please hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to watch any of my mine any of my gaming videos, or if you just want my tutorials, uh, subscribe as well. But anyway, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.